mini reflection. This week I was talking with two friends about the gospel reading and the question was raised, is there any person that could tell us, drop everything and follow me and we would do it. Now my two friends are both married, one has kids and both are settled in their careers and understandably they said no. I on the other hand am child free, single and I'm just applying for, it seems, any job that comes my way. And I immediately said, if Taylor Swift asked me to leave everything behind, I would do so. And so one of my friends asked, well, what is it about Taylor Swift that would have you drop everything? And I responded, I don't know her as a person, but I know her as a brand. And she's been known to give people, fans, thousands of dollars to help pay for medical bills or student loans. She's been known to send fans gifts. She's been known to hold secret music sessions at her house. And I know that she cares about her image, understandably. So chances are that if she told me to follow her, there would be something good for me. But the soon-to-be disciples of Matthew don't have that reassurance. In fact, in the Gospel of Matthew, like in the Gospel of Mark, Jesus' calling of Simon, Andrew, and James occur abruptly. Jesus says, follow me and go. And at this point, his ministry has barely started and he is nowhere near a household name. This is in contrast to how the book of Luke frames it. In Luke, Jesus roused his soon-to-be disciples by causing their nets to be so filled with fish that the boats that they are in begin to sink. Also in Luke, Jesus is pretty well established in his ministry. He is already casting out demons, healing people, etc. It's still a bit astonishing that people would give up everything to follow him, but it makes more sense. And I'm not going to lie, I prefer Luke's version of this story, or even John's version. In John, two of Jesus' followers were were originally followers of John the Baptist, and John says, look, this is the Lamb of God, and they think this must be the Messiah. They follow Jesus based on the testimony of someone they respect. But in Matthew, they just go. But the Gospels are meant to challenge us. And this version of the story is challenging us to ask ourselves, what is it that we are willing to give up to follow Jesus? To be sure, I don't think Jesus is calling us all to give up everything and wander around saying we pet. We might need to give up our understanding of success. We might have to be willing to not know what's going to happen for the next five years. 